Speaking of the winter weather, you know, Southern Oregon has definitely been impacted by by some more winter-like weather, but uh, no frost outside in the Rogue Valley today. Right, we had pretty mild temperatures, made it to the 60s for highs in the Rogue Valley. Crater Lake did see some fresh snow, and we're also expecting maybe a few snow showers east of the Cascades by tomorrow on Saturday as temperatures start to cool. But here are our precip amounts since midnight. Along the coast, we got just under three-tenths of an inch for Brookings. As we start to zoom in, not too much in Northern California, one hundredth of an inch for Fort Jones. Happy Camp, six hundredths of an inch. But further towards the north, that's where we saw measurable rainfall. Larry and Glendale saw around three-tenths of an inch. Carmel and Shady Cove, six hundredths of an inch. And Nancy and Prospect, half an inch of rainfall. Crater Lake, that's reporting right around two-tenths there. But we have actually seen right around three inches of fresh snow for Crater Lake. And here's the current satellite and radar imagery. And look at where we're starting to see very light showers. We're continuing to see very light showers. Northern Jackson County, Southern Douglas County. And look at what we're seeing in Siskiyou County. They're starting to pop up here over the past around 30 minutes or so. And I've been looking at the Mesonet sites. Nothing has been reported as far as accumulation with that rainfall. And I don't think this is actually reaching the ground because it is so light, those returns on the radar. But currently around the area, we are seeing mostly cloudy skies and mild temperatures. 55 degrees currently for Medford, 45 degrees for Klamath Falls, Mount Shasta sitting in the lower 40s and along the coast. A few showers for Brookings temperatures also in the middle 50s at 55 degrees. And we are seeing some gusty winds. So for the next couple of hours, a wind advisory is still in effect for the Klamath Basin. That's eastern Klamath County and then all of Lake County. Winds at times gusting up to 55 miles per hour. I've seen gusts near Summer Lake around 45 miles per hour. And then by later this weekend, we're talking Sunday morning, a freeze watch goes into effect for the North Coast, that's northern Curry County and portions of Douglas County, expecting the first freeze of this season. So here's the wider look at the stationary front that has been in place, and that's the reason why we were expecting a few showers starting to drift through the area this afternoon, so the models were originally suggesting, but this stationary front has just stayed parked all day long just towards our north. It will finally get a good enough push and make its way towards the south as a cold front over the next couple of days, and that's going to mean pretty nice weather for Saturday, at least by Saturday afternoon, and especially in Corvallis. If you're heading up to the Beavers game, keep in mind it is going to be definitely a very chilly start to the game. 32 degrees by kickoff just before 8 p.m. And even for tailgating, temperatures are going to be in the 40s. Definitely bundle up, bring your blankets, all the things like that for the game tomorrow. For tomorrow along the coast, though, temperatures in the upper 50s for highs, Gold Beach 57, Brookings 58. Also upper 50s for Port Orford winds, relatively light from the west, 5 to 15 miles per hour. For Northern California, also just a few showers, 51 degrees for Wairika, Weed 46, Mount Shasta high in the upper 40s at 48 degrees. And for the Klamath Basin, a cold start to the day. Some locations not really making it much over freezing. Chamult staying in the 30s, 34 degrees for the high. Silver Lake, 32 degrees for the high. So we could be seeing a few light snow showers for tomorrow. Klamath Falls, though, a high in the middle 40s at 44 degrees. And for the mountains, 43 for Prospect Butte Falls, 45. Crater Lake will continue to see a rain snow mix with temperatures making their way into the middle 30s by the afternoon hours. For the Rogue Valley, temperatures in the middle 50s for highs. Grants Pass 54, 52 for Rogue River, Medford 54, Ashland a high in the lower 50s. For the next seven days along the coast, drying out by Sunday, 63 degrees for the high. We keep it mostly cloudy for both Monday and Tuesday. Definitely chilly nights Saturday and Sunday. And for Northern California, isolated showers for tomorrow on Saturday. It's upper 20s Saturday and Sunday night. Even same thing for Monday night. And for the Klamath Basin, teens. Some locations expecting single digits by Sunday and Monday mornings, but it will be dry with partly cloudy skies to close out the weekend. And for the mountains, isolated rain and snow showers for Saturday, mostly sunny by Sunday highs in the lower 40s. And for the Rogue Valley, cold nights ahead. That's 27 degrees by Monday morning, but we will see high pressure building in, so that means at least a sunny start to the work week. All right, bundle up early and it'll be okay later, it sounds like. Thanks.